Okay, quick video here, guys. If you go independent Air Force, your air advisor cost is negative 75%. And this is huge because you can get Francesco, Precolo, Ettore, Moody, Marzale, Sarudi, and then you can also get Silvio Scaroni for like, it's either 100 or 125 political power. I forget how much this guy costs. But you can get Francesco here first, and it's 0.16 daily gain. And then you could swap some of these out before war, depending on what you need for very little political power cost. I would suggest going state serves military. I didn't do it in this playthrough, but if you went state serves military first, you could get that fairly quickly in Ethiopia, the 35 army XP that it takes for that. In Ethiopia, you could also get the air XP to get independent air force and then get these advisors quickly. And then as you can see here, I'm daily, my daily gain is 0.34 but that's gonna increase 0 0.09 after I add Silvio Scaroni. So this has a lot of implications because I could get full doctrine probably before war using this uh, strategy, particularly if I got Francesco a little early. Also, after I get all these air guys, I can easily switch off of this to industrial liaisons to get um, the light aircraft research speed so that we can grind out uh, Fighter 2 quicker. And then we can switch that again because we're going to be flush with air experience to air crew surveys, which will lower air doctrine co cost. So as Italy AC, you're going to be wanting to go strategic destruction. Now, you want to do that so that you get the naval mission efficiency here because your job is going to get Fighter 2 in multiplayer game as well as uh, get the Nav 2s, max out attack on the Nav 2s, and then buff that with naval mission efficiency. You also get a lot of buffs too. Here's a 10% ground support, air wing mission experience gain. You, put, you go here, so it should go left to right. And then down below, there's even more goodies here. You have more air superiority down here. So it's gonna buff your navs, it's gonna buff your air superiority. And um, yeah, it would definitely go strategic destruction uh, for Italy because it makes the most sense. And that's about it. So I think the new meta for Italy and No Step Back is gonna be this swapping in and out. Obviously, you're gonna swap these guys out by the time war comes. But while we're like grinding in Spain right here, you don't want to buff your army so that you can grind for longer. So basically you don't want to put any uh, upgrades on your generals and you also don't want to upgrade your military advisors because this would push and you wouldn't be able to participate in the war as long. Hope you enjoyed this video. Just a quick one here, guys. If you guys have any other strats, please leave suggestions in the comment box below and I'll see you on the next one.